published 8:15 Eastern Standard Time, the 29th of January 2018. Updated 9:58 Eastern Standard Time, the 29th of January 2018. Phil Neville has apologized once again for the sexist tweets that have overshadowed his appointment as the England women's team head coach. But Neville proclaimed himself the best man for the job and then claimed, I cannot be more qualified for this job than what I am. Neville deleted his Twitter account after posts were unearthed from 2011 and 2012, including one in which Neville declared he had just batted the wife. Another, from January 2012, reads, When I said morning men I thought the women would have sick been busy preparing breakfast, getting kids ready, making the beds. Sorry women, Phil Neville has again apologized for sexist. Tweets posted seven years ago as he was officially unveiled as the New England women's team coach at St. George's Park. 41-year-old Neville faced the media as he started in the England job on Monday. Neville has come in for heavy criticism after the offensive tweets surfaced this month. Neville prepares for a television interview as he speaks at St. George's Park in Staffordshire. Speaking to the media at his unveiling as the New England coach on Monday, he said, I apologize strongly. I know the words I used were totally wrong. I had to apologize because I looked at the words I used and I didn't like them myself. They are not a reflection of my true character and they do not reflect the way that I was brought up by my parents. They do not sit well with me but I can explain it. In isolation it was around a game of sport, table tennis, basketball while I was away on a family holiday, but it was inappropriate then, in the same way it was inappropriate now. But I think my character stands up to any accusation that is leveled at me. I have lived my life right. I have got a wife, a daughter, a sister who is England's netball coach. I have seen the sacrifices she has made, getting up at 4 a.m., 5 a.m. A series of his tweets emerged on social media that contained sexist jokes. Neville made a joke about equality to his sister when it came to paying for a meal. He also suggested women would spend their mornings preparing breakfast, getting kids ready, making the beds in another tweet uncovered last week. He looked at the words I used. My father isn't with me now but he would have been the first person to tell me that it was wrong. I want to be judged on performances. Neville defended his achievements and credentials for the role, saying, I've done all of my qualifications. I cannot be more qualified for this job than what I am. We agreed that I was the right man for the job and I've got to say that it was probably one of the highlights of my career. Take everything I've done on the football field and since then it was a special moment because being manager of the national team is the ultimate honor and I've got that now. Neville said the tweets were not a reflection of his true character and how he was brought up. Neville acknowledged that his tweets from from 2011 and 2012 were inappropriate, and apologize Neville Fields questions as he meets the media at St. George's Park on Mundaneville, 41, received a warning from the Football Association over his conduct but will take on the England job and has already set his sights on winning the World Cup. He said, I want to develop into a World Cup winner. I want to win an Olympic gold medal. Any job after being England manager is a step down. I am qualified because I have the ultimate certificate. I am driven. I am going excited about the challenge. I have worked and played at elite level. I know women's football. Do I know everything about women's football? No. I'm a fast learner. I will throw everything into making this a success. I told them it was about winning now. It was one of the proudest moments of my career.